Hey guys, so we're jumping right in with a super dirty beauty blender. Let's get it nice and clean. I use Irish Spring Soap. I will link below where I get it on Amazon. I buy it in bulk and it's very cheap and I go through about one a month and I do use this multiple times a day as I clean my beauty blenders before every makeup application as well as cleaning my face halos before I use them. So what I do is I take the soap and I run the beauty blender over it. I rub it and you don't want to go like too hard, but you do want to rub out, you know, the dirt and grime. And I do like to use pretty warm water when I do this. I think it kind of helps melt the oils in the makeup. And um, the soap I find doesn't really have a lot of residue, especially for the face halos. You don't want to get a soap that has residue because it will kind of put a film over them. And same with the beauty blenders. Obviously, you don't want to film over those either. So I really like this soap. I think it gets it really nice and clean. And it has a decent smell that doesn't linger for too long. So as you can see here, I rub it against the soap. I rub it um, underneath the water and then outside of the water as well to get it nice and sudsy. And then I squeeze it under the water and I do this process until the water is pretty much clean. Nice and clean. So with this larger body sponge, I like to rub the soap on the sponge as opposed to rubbing the soap on the sponge. You can see me doing that here. I'm rubbing the soap on the sponge in the dirty areas. I'm squeezing nice and hard to make sure that all of the dirt and the soap and the water filter through underneath the water and outside of the water. That is a really good trick. Under the water allows it to kind of pour out while outside of the water allows it to suds up and get nice and clean in the inside and collect a lot of like bubbles and soap. So it is actually really important to do the soap outside and under the water. clean these are my favorite sponges by the way the ones I use the most and then so for the face halos a little bit different um, I like to rub the soap on the halo and I like to get this really sudsy I get this so I rub the soap really nice and hard in between all of the fibers very rough with this honestly because it can take it um, and you want these to be like extra clean so I make sure that the water is nice and warm and I make sure that they get very clean honestly you can pretty much tell if you did not clean it right because they have that like weird water smell so you know you need to like clean it again that's typically like a bacteria smell. So yeah, this one's really dirty. And as you can see, I run it over the top, try to get as much as I can off. And then I do flip it over and do the bottom right away, just so that um, the dirty stuff isn't flowing onto a clean side. I kind of try to flip it over just so I can make sure the dirt filters out. So there you have it guys, this is how I clean my makeup sponges and my face halos. I hope you guys have a great day or night, wherever you are. Toddy bye's.